Amen. 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 What an awesome word. Thank you very much, Pastor Gandhi. May God continue to bless you. I pray for the grace that Joseph had upon his life, upon each and every one of us, in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible tells us very clearly that all we know that all things work together for good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose. One of the ways that we know that we're called according to his purpose is to do what he has instructed us to do. Today, it's time to give our tithes and our offering. One of the ways that the work of God continues is when the people of God support the mission of God. So today I'm going to ask that we prepare our checks for our tithes and our offering written to Jesus House DC. And uh, if you're giving your offering, please let's rise up. If you're giving your tithes, I'm sorry, let's rise up. The tithe is the 10% of our giving, of our income. So 10% of our income is the tithe. So if we're giving our tithes, please just rise up today. Because we're following the, we're following exactly what God has told us to do in giving our tithes. So pray upon your tithes. Call it. Tell what you want it to achieve for you. Speak the word of God into it. The, the Bible tells us clearly that it will not return void. The word of God never returns void. So ask today. Ask for all that that you've wished and you desired. God knows your heart. He knows your pocket also. So write your thoughts. And if you want to send it also by texting, even if you forget your checkbook, you can see the numbers on the, on the board, on the screen. The numbers are there so you can give your thoughts by texting also. Heavenly Father, we thank you for what you're doing in the lives of our children. We thank you for the ones giving their tithes. Let your spirit guide them. Lord, order their ways. We know all things work together for the good of those who love you. Lord, in everything, in every area of their lives that they're lacking, Lord, come and cover them. Let it be well with them. Protect them, Lord. Lord, even we know that for some of those who are struggling, Lord, give them the desire, give them the will to do, your, to do that which you've called them to do. And if you're writing your, th your offering, please rise up also and join him. Philippians 4, 19 says, but my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory. So we know that all our needs will be met from any area of our lives. There's nothing too big for God to cover. There's no area that is too bad. There's no shame that he cannot erase. There's no debts that he cannot repay. There's no poverty that he cannot turn around. As you've seen or you've heard the story of Joseph, so will it be in the mighty name of Jesus. So let's write our tithes our ch and our offerings to Jesus House DC. The God of good, the God who provides, will provide for each and every one of us in the mighty name of Jesus. King of kings, Lord of lords, we thank you for what you're doing in the lives of your children. Thank you for being their God. Thank you for being their guide. Eternal rock of ages today, even as they've written their tithes and their their offerings to you. Lord, come and bless their pocket, Lord. Let them never know poverty. Let your will be done in their lives. Lord, cover their shame. Lord, be it that they seek. Lord, heal them. We're asking for all manners of, of your mercy upon your children today, Lord. We ask for forgiveness of their sins, Lord. Let your will be done in their life today. Lord, and for perhaps for those who are willing, who are wishing to give but don't have. Lord, let today be the last day that that will happen for them, Lord. Provide for them, Lord. For those ones who are even worshiping with us on the internet, Lord, come and bless them, Lord. Bless their pockets, Lord. Let your name be alone, be glorified. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. Lord, we ask upon each and every one of us the grace of Joseph, the grace to forgive and to hold no vengeance, Lord. We say, Lord, let your name be glorified. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor because you are God and God by yourself. Thank you, everlasting King. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, put those hands together for the King of Glory.
Thank you. Praise the Lord. Um, at this time, I want to uh, call on our new guest. We have a very short reception for you. Please, let's uh, clap for our new guest. We want to thank you for worshiping with us. Thank you very much. God bless you. We have a very short reception for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We thank you. We, we appreciate you. Thank you very much. Thank you for fellowshipping with us.